Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, so I'm going to do a quick little measurement here. This is going to be the pH measurement of DIY Detail Rinse This Wash. Um, I just rinsed this out, so it's bouncing around at like 6.9, so it may still be a little wet in here. Um, so I just rinsed it out. So I'm going to be doing a rinse this wash on one of the cars here today. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put this into the solution here, and we'll see where it measures at. Um, you know, if you buy one of these, it tells you in here that it's in there for about 30 seconds, and then it'll kind of... Uh, what do you call it? Stabilize. And so we're just going to go ahead and do that. And uh, we'll see what this measures at here. And let me get my, my finger out of the way. Actually, I'm just going to let it sit in here like that. Okay, so it's stabilizing right around 5.9, 5.8, so in that range. So hopefully this answers the question on what the pH is of DIY Detail Rinse This Wash. And, you know, as a, you know, this tool, there is some inaccuracy in it, and then it'll continue uh, bouncing around. But it looks like it's stabilizing here, 5.7877, so... Uh, that's the pH of it. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it in the into um, some water here, and we'll see what the the pH if the pH changes to it. I should have brought some something to flush this out. Um, let me see if I can flush this out manually with some water. While I dump this in here. And we'll see what the overall mixtures of the solution. Let's see if I'm gonna wipe this off a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna manually mix this. So we're just gonna let this sit in here for 30 seconds or so. So hopefully I don't drop it in here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera off my head strap here. And so that should be good enough here. So you're looking at 7.1 ish uh, for the pH. Let me just put that down carefully here. Uh, so that's the pH level of DIY Detail Rinse This Wash. And again, once you mix it into water, your pH is going to change a bit. Uh, but again, pH does not tell the whole story. There's other things in the chemistry that's going to make this uh, a good cleaner. So again, just something to keep in mind. Again, the pH doesn't really dictate everything that you need to know about a product so hopefully this helps again thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you in the next one